All right. So, Mark, you got some big wins. Let's talk about them first, because the biggest one I've seen in a long time is AT&T. Why did they select Salesforce? Well, Jim, I am so excited about AT&T and what they're doing with our customer 360 platform. And I have to tell you, I've been down to Dallas now several times myself working with uh, Jeff Meckelfresh. He's an incredible visionary, the CEO of AT&T Wireless. And it's very simple, Jim. You know, AT&T has many customer touch points, the customer's home, the call center, the retail store. I'm sure you've been in it, a messaging, uh, the phone itself. And when you go to any one of these customer touch points, they're going to know who you are through our single source of truth. This is a transformational opportunity for AT&T Wireless. It's one of the most significant, and it'll be one of the largest transactions we've ever done. I'm absolutely delighted. All right. Now, talk about, please, work.com, because I'm not sure it necessarily figured into this quarter, but it's how people are awakening their companies. And I know last night, of course, from Anil Bushri, Workday, that it is incredibly popular. Well, I, I'm thrilled about the relationship with Workday and Work.com and, of course, PwC and IBM and Accenture and many others have all joined Work.com because, look, it's time for us to start reopening safely. And to do that, that means we're going to need information technology. We, we don't have a vaccine yet, Jim. You know that. But we can use information technology to mitigate the virus. There's probably four other things we can do. We can wear masks. We can do social distancing. We can wash our hands. We can do... Tracing and testing. And tracing and testing, that's where work.com is. In fact, for the state of Rhode Island, they're using work.com to do all of their contact tracing, as are so many other states now in the United States, including California, Massachusetts, Texas, and about 35 others, and many, many companies as well. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.